Yo, 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 what's up guys? Welcome back to today's video. And I haven't seen you guys in a long time. Well, it's been a little while, not too long. I started school again, so uh, it takes up a lot of my time. When I get home, I'm literally like, I have like no energy at all. Um, hardly ever really get to get out here. Uh, of course, I, I have to be in bed at a certain time because I have to wake up at a certain time. I can't just be awake all day and just, you know, well, all night and just be working on these things. But uh, I have a three-day weekend, so what I want to do right now is install the new parts and stuff that I just got for Venom over here. You guys haven't seen her in a few videos. Him. He's a dude. You guys haven't seen him in a few videos. Um, bumper's still white because I still have to make the final cut and then we can paint it. Um, he's a little dirty because he's just been sitting. But he's been in the garage because he's spoiled obviously so right before i started school which was a few weeks ago i dropped off my turbo manifold and my up pipe off to one of my really good friends now his name is mark anthony he has a um he has a company where he pretty much uh ceramic coats uh like rifles and stuff uh his his, his name his company name is r w l l c um his instagram will be on the screen now he coated, he ceramic coated my turbo manifold and my up pipe for, um, for Venom. Alrighty, so this is it afterwards. If you guys remember before, it had, um, a lot of rust and everything everywhere. I asked him to do it all black and then since it is Venom, I told him that he could add a little saucy stuff to it, whatever he likes. And he put red and white to kind of make it pop like Venom's face, which this part sticks out of the hood. looks absolutely sick. I love it. Um, before I sent it off, I of course had to take the turbo off. Um, so the turbo is sitting here now and with all the hardware and everything for it. So right now I have to reinstall that. Before we do all that, I ordered, at the same time I dropped this off, I ordered a bunch of new gaskets and everything for it so that we could install it for the final time. Alrighty, so, of course, we have this gasket, which goes on that piece there. Uh, this is for the up pipe, which should go right there. And then this piece right here is for in between the manifold and this uh, turbo housing piece. I don't know what it's called exactly, but still, you guys get the point. So then these gaskets, there's a bunch of them because there's just extra that comes with them. Uh, these go onto there. And then I of course got the main gasket which goes into there. So first steps first, we got to just unbolt these apart and then also this apart so that I could put these gaskets on. And then after I do that, I can go ahead and put the turbo on, clock it to where it has to go, and then get everything bolted on tight and then go ahead and bolt it onto the head. And then from that point on, I have to put the feed through the top and then drain through the bottom for the oil. And pretty much the turbo setup with all the gaskets and everything is ready to go. We ran into a problem with the turbo piping. Turbo piping is right here. Still gotta paint it and everything, but the turbo piping, we have a problem. Um, how we had it running from this side of the intercooler up, we had it straight going like this to there which it hits the bottom of this down here. So we have to take it to Cody again and then get it extended out that way so that it actually fit. It isn't too big of a deal. Uh, I also still have to take it back so I get the piping done here and then also the, the cool air side piece that comes through the front here. Have to get that all made.
Now I got the whole turbo turbo manifold and everything ready to go. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and connect this to here first because it's gonna be the easiest. So I'm gonna just connect it to here, but I have to put the stuff around this, of course, the thread stuff. I forget what it's called. But I'm gonna put it on there first because uh, this doesn't have a 90, so it's gonna have to curve up and curving it to try to screw it in while it's bolted on there is gonna be harder. First things first, we're gonna go ahead and save this for last. Um, we're gonna install the turbos. We're gonna install the turbo manifold with the new gasket right now. I'm gonna rip this bad boy open. Brand new gasket. Sheesh, they came out so clean. I love it. Um, so, she's in there. I have to go down there and get that here and connect it to the down downpipe piece, which I'm about to do that right, right now. Um, then after that, only thing we have to do is run the actual piping, which I could do that right now. Only problem is, is when it gets up to here, it it's going to just be sitting there. It's not going to be able to be bolted up, which... So we're going to put it on. Uh, keep in mind keep in mind that all of it still needs to be wrinkle black. Um, so it's going to look really sick in here. With Like if I keep the valve cover red, it, it flows really good together like that. And I'll go ahead and close the hood for you guys right now so you guys can see that as well. So I'm going to get this line ran up there where it's supposed to go and tight. And then that will be done, and then I'll show you guys how it comes out of the hood. All right, you got that line down there all connected up, ready to go. Now, for you guys to see what it looks like. I think it looks dope. Keep in mind that this is all probably going to get black, but on the outside, I think it looks dope. A little bit of red showing, with all black. A little mean. Just mind the purple steering wheel. I think so ugly. You got to paint it. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this came out all super clean. Let's see if this touches. It might touch. I just put my hand in there. Yeah, it does. Just a little bit. I don't know if that's going to be a problem. It's exactly where this dent is, because the last person probably boosted their car as well, and had it probably exactly in the same spot. I'm not sure. It came out super sick. I love the way that it looks. All this combined. It looks super dope. Yeah, you see? That's no bueno. It's making the hood come up. It's okay, we'll figure it out. Oof. Pulled out my Kirky that is going to be going inside the car. And then also have my seat bracket. So this seat bracket is from the bottom of those uh, those racing seat things that came in my car. Like the, the, the red with the purple straps. Um, I just pulled this off because these bolts on straight to the car. So what I have to do is get these attached to that. And... Um, in order to do that, I'm going to have to first bolt this up into the car and then probably make a bracket and or see if I could just drill new holes in that and then make it like this. So, first step is to bolt it in there. It looks pretty dope having it just sitting in there. So, if you see, I kept the adjuster on there so that I could adjust it going back and forth. It's going to be vital because 
obviously. Uh, I, right now, I don't have a quick release steering wheel. All right, so I'm going to wait for my dad to come out here because he said he's going to help me uh, make a, well, figure out if I should make a bracket or just bolt it on there. I'm guest starring in my own video today. I don't, well, I'm guest starring in Braven's video today on my own YouTube channel. Yes, sir. I am the guest star. Yeah, the most, the valued guest star. What, what's it called? Like whenever it's like a movie or something or a TV show. What, what are they always? Guest? Yeah, special guest. Yeah. A very highly valued special guest. That's what I am. Yeah, Braven uh, got his turbo kit and everything. I think you guys already seen that, right? They seen that, right? So he got that all bolted up, got the lines all ran. He is going to need, uh, I was telling him about it. You are going to need to clock the turbo a little bit because. Uh, that needs to point straight down, but we'll figure that all out later. That is a Chrysler 300, and I would love to make a Chrysler 300 announcement to the entire world. No, humble yourself, sir. The entire world isn't watching. But Chrysler 300 owners, you are not race cars. You are not race car drivers. Your cars are just loud and that's about it. All of you in West Phoenix, every single one of you. <laughs> so it doesn't actually reach. What you can do, um, what I had to do on mine, watch, set it back really quick. But what I had to do is run a piece of flat bar. Well, I had a seat bracket that had like basically flat bar running across here. So what we might need to do is get a piece of steel flat bar to bolt here and here, and then it'll be a flat section running across front and back, and then you'll be able to put bolts further in, actually going into the seat, you know what I mean? Yeah. Either that or side brackets in which... It'll be light. Have you looked to see what's on those um, those seats that I tried dying? The cor Corbeos? The Corbos? Let's go see if there's anything on the Corbos. Back in the corner of a yard that you guys don't ever see. No, oh, there's nothing on the Corbos. Ugh. Yeah, there's nothing on the bottom of them. I should throw those in there. I could already tell. Yeah, the seats my, are junk. That's my passenger seat. Seats are junk. If you guys remember, I actually dyed them black. Them just sitting out here, all the black ink just completely dissipated. <laughs> I guess the sun baked it off. All right, so this is the thickest piece of aluminum I've got at the house. Uh, I don't remember how thick it is. What is this? Hold the tape measure up here, Braven. Put it on the one. Yeah, so it's about eighth of an inch. Yeah, it's about an eighth of an inch thick. Being big like this, it's kind of flimsy or whatever, but um, like smaller pieces, it's pretty sturdy. And besides, we just got to make a little brackets for the seats, and then we also have to make a bracket for your handle, for your hydraulic handle. This is the stuff that I made mine out of, and this is also what I made my front splitter out of. That's what this cut right here was. So, um, the the splitter on khaki. This is the piece that I made it from. Anyhow, we got to get some templates made up. Um, mark this out so we know exactly where to cut, and then just get the freaking cutting this shit out. This is what we ended up with. Basically, uh, instead of making two straps to run across the front and the back to actually bolt the seat to, just made a big square that we're gonna bolt this whole entire thing onto the slider. And I left an indent right here so that we are basically, like just in case he does get a um, five point harness uh, and he does have that center piece, then, uh, then this bracket won't be in the way. You know what I'm saying? So now, I just gotta go take the DA sander and I'm gonna sand all these edges and clean them up and round them and make it look a lot nicer. that seat bracket if you actually unbolt it from the car it gets all like wonky like it moves around um we want it bolted in the car so we can figure out the actual placement of the bolts to mount this so what we're gonna do is make a uh, template of this basically this exact same thing but out of this like uh, construction paper whatever you want to call this um, and then we'll be able to take that then we'll set it up here on the seat bracket itself and then get these holes uh actually marked onto that piece of paper um, and then we could take it back to our template and actually drill them so um, because it, it'd be difficult just to set that plate up here and try to get in from the back side right here to actually mark them so you gotta do what you gotta do man you got that yep. don't don't cut yourself now you got it 
I, I just myself, I cut myself once doing dishes. And I just, I just dishes. worry about you, bro. I just worry about you. You know, this I don't is, want you to was, hurt yourself. That was real wonky. Oh wow, look at that cut. <laughs> Ain't nothing but professionals around here. Why are you holding the blade flat? Mm -hmm. I saw you. You're like holding the blade flat, not holding it at the corner. What are you talking about? Here, take the camera. I want to, I want to get my hands on this so bad. But it's done. Do you know it's not done? It but, is not. Oh, oh my god, oh my god. We just need that little part to be get cut off. You're not gonna cut this out? No, because it's just a template. But we have to have this cut also, so we know. So we know what's up. Right. Damn, look how smooth that was. Oh, this piece. <laughs> Fucking Houdini over here. Doing magic tricks, watch this. Oh. Yo, marker? I got a bug in my eye, that's what I got. Uh, we left it all back on the porch. Dude, I just want to know what no. side is what. That and that. Bam. There. I'm not sure what it changes. If you know. Because that thing isn't like perfect. Like if you flip it over, it could be different. So just to be safe. Yeah. Uh. This dot is up. So whenever we mark it, we take it back over there. On that, the dot is up. Backs. Dot up, dot up. Backs. <laughs> Tape. <laughs> and are we just gonna sit here and record for 15 minutes? Yeah. <laughs> the 15 minute clip. Go ahead and end clip, Brandon. <laughs> all right, got the holes all marked on all four corners. So, actually taped this thing down so that it wouldn't move around. Taped it down so it wouldn't move around. Yo, yeah. what's up? Hey, hey. 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 <laughs> Knock that off. Now we come over here and look at that, no confusion. Look at that. Dot is up. Dot is up. No, no confusion. No confusion here. Bang bang. A little bit of tapey tape tape. What are you fucking giggling about? Well look at your paper. What are you giggling about? Dude? It's literally not even flush to the piece of aluminum. You're commenting like while well, I'm not even done? Remember, you cut this out, bro. I cut what out? You cut this piece of paper out. Bro, you cut both of them out. Remember, you were like, I need to get my hands on this, and you went back through. Bam. There she is. Merch. All right, now I'll just drill some holes, and we'll oversight, oversize them slightly so we have some play. Bam, mounting is done. And then we just gotta bolt up the seat. You know what we could actually do is bolt this onto the bracket and then we could take the bracket out. And then we could actually bolt the seat up here on the bench. Yeah. And yeah. then bolt the whole thing back in. Like boom boom bang. Bang bang. Boom. Bang bang. bang, 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 bang. And, then, and then we gotta take it apart and then we gotta paint this. We gotta paint the, the whole bracket and the seat. So I was just gonna oh, paint, yeah, you're right, you're right. paint all at once. Girl. Brave and this drill bit's broken off on a tip, bro. What are you doing to me? Dead ass, man. I get I get messages all the time. Um, I don't ever do this because I I don't I don't want to come across as if I'm asking you guys for things. But like I tell you all the time, if you do want to send us stuff, you can send us stuff to the PO box. The address is in uh, uh, in the link down below inside of the description, or not a link. The the address is in the description down below. But um. I get messages all the time like, hey, what could you use around the garage and all that kind of stuff. And I always say the same thing. I'm like, bro, it's it's all good, man. It really is. Thank you. I appreciate it. But if you do want to send something, I mean, the P.O. box is below. Um, and one recommendation I'll give you is freaking drill bits, bro. Drill bits. We don't have any damn drill bits, especially number 30s, 30 bits. I would love to have a very large supply of freaking 30 bits, bro. That's the size that we need for all of our rivets. Uh, whenever we do pilot holes, whenever we're putting screws in something, 30 bits. I like to use a 
sander just to kind of deburr the holes after you drill. So clean up a little bit. All right, it's got the plate all bolted up. Now I just got to knock the top off these bolts right here. All this dang old thread that's sticking through. Um, I know the camera doesn't want to freaking focus on it, but those are uh, nylon nuts. Got nylon nuts on there. You know, don't want don't want the seat vibrating loose. So <laughs> you put your hand up. I was like, <laughs> I flinched. <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't beat my kids. How am I gonna get this out of there? You drill a hole, and then, is that as straight as you could cut? No. Um, bro, I dead ass need glasses, and I can cut a straighter line than that. Dude, I cut this line right here, bro. No, you, what the fuck happened in here? That was already cut, part. You know, dude, what about this side? That was already cut, <laughs> No, Yeah, you're full I, of dog I cut, shit, I, right? I didn't cut this side out of this one was there. I just okay, just that. make sure, oh my god, this is driving me nuts. Anyhow. I had to literally trim all this off. No, you just drill drill a hole in here, like kind of close to the line, and then you get a place to put the jigsaw blade in. I can't cut corners like that. I yeah, you freak. Why can't you? Did I suck at it? I tried. Then this is wonderful practice. And drill four holes. Drill a hole here, 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 and here. But make sure the hole doesn't land outside of your line. You know what I'm saying? I did that with that plate that I made. Well, my dash and also the plate that I made from ECU. I did that. Ugh, it looks so bad. All right. All right. Well, now you know what to do. I need to do this. Ribbon! Bro, I swear to God, man. Look, I get it. This bucket right here is where we put like power tools. But the thing is, is we use the grinder almost every damn day. Almost every day, Braven, we use the grinder. I'm only here. No, look, do you see where I put this drill? No, I'm only here. No, hey, when do you I see where I put Do you see where I put this drill? I was getting cut. <laughs> do you see where I put this drill? Yes, I see where you put the drill. Do you know why I put the drill right here? Because we use it often. Because we use it often, yeah. So where's my brand new grinder at? That. Why is it in the freaking bucket, Braven? Because that's where we put the power tools. Dude, that's where we put the power tools, yes, but the stuff that we don't use very often. Like, why put it? Dude, I'm so tired of getting that thing out of the bucket. Whenever you put it up there, knowing damn well we're probably going to use it the next day. Get, Dude, you're getting the grinder out of the bucket, bro. I'm busy. I don't care if you're busy. Get the grinder out of the bucket. Grinder out the bucket. All right, I'll be in the house. Let me know when you get the grinder out. Son bitch. Just clean it up. Curtain. Oh, nice. Oh. Nice. Oh, yeah, it's very nice. That is nice, very. It's marvelous. It's absolutely marvelous. I am in love with it. What is this? What is this, my friend? What is this? What is it? What is it? Does it fit? I gotta drill holes to the bowl, the bowl holes in order to set it down. I think it fits. Okay, have fun. You know, I figured since it'd be easier, instead of actually drilling holes and bolting the seat to that bracket, Braven, you know what we can do? What? Double stick tape. Oh, yeah. We just put some 3M double stick on there and just, you know? Grill, grill, grill. Actually, no cap. Or we can do those quick release buttons. Oh, the quick release. Yeah. Yes. That would be tits, bro. Yes, sir. That would be amazing. Blow a brand new hole right fucking through that. You know what I'm saying? Does it look straight? Straight enough, right? That's what God said when he was making you. Did my dad go by God? <laughs> I didn't really know him, so you tell me. <laughs> 
Why, why you gotta be making fun of my and my dad's relationship, bro? Why are you always making fun of me and my mom's? Touche. <laughs> hey, look, your mom left both of us, alright? <laughs> <laughs> and airing out some dirty laundry, huh, in the background? Right. Don't worry, I'll cut it all out. Did I cut it out? Put it in the comments below. <laughs> <laughs> and I kind of like went through this spring. <laughs> Bro, I swear to God. <laughs> you think that's all right? No, I don't think that's all right. Yeah, it'll be all right. Oh my God, I'm not gonna be able to slide it up and down, up, up forward and backwards. It didn't go through a spring, dude. I know, I'll just make sure you weren't, you know, sped. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! That ramped up and missed that! <laughs> I gotta put some nuts on her. Oh, you <laughs> little bastard! <laughs> you know, I was thinking about aerodynamicas and then I was like, oh yeah, I can get them back. Yeah, whatever. Try to summon your ear right now. At least I'm not a bastard. You are. I'm actually not. My parents were married when I was conceived. No, they weren't. Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Yeah, they were. No, they weren't. Yeah, they were. No. What's, what's your dad's last name? Jeffries. Jeffries. What's grandma's last name? They're divorced now. Stupid. Nah. They were married when I was conceived. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Solid, bro. Bro, that's actually better than the seat bracket and khaki. Right. I'm gonna have to do this to get in there, though. Yeah. No, I did it perfect, bro. I did this snug. <laughs> yeah, which means <laughs> I'm not gonna fit in there at all. Yeah, like I have like I have like this much room on each side of me if I'm sitting in there. No, with the Kirkies, you can put a jack in here. You put a jack in here sideways, you spread it out. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I was getting in like I get in the khaki, bro. Not hurt. I fit in this damn thing. You, should, you gotta kind of adjust yourself before you get in there. <laughs> bro, this thing sits low. That is sick. Actually, dude, I dig how this thing sits. Oh. What's wrong with your clutch pedal? There's no liquid or nothing going through my clutch pedal. Oh, oh. <laughs> me, me trying to drive the E36. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, it's not bad, bro. That's more comfortable than khaki shit. Should have bolted the seat up straight. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's actually a really dope ass sitting position. Like, like I, I genuinely like how low it sits. Yeah, I like how low it sits. What's up, Yeah, <laughs> You look like a. You, you look short, bro. Bro, look at this. I can recline all the way back and just chill up and just. Do you look? I'm gonna show them how low this thing sits, bro. <laughs> that thing sits bro. low. The sliding motion is insane. Hell yeah. How clean it is. Well, it, it's crazy to get the seat to sit that low and still have a slider in it. Yeah. So, that's Kirky's for you. <laughs> I wish it just had a little <laughs> You bounce, look at your door. Blah, 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 Yes, ma'am. No, no B16s around here, dog. Told you it wasn't gonna hit the ground. You don't listen to me. I could push it. 
No, still, hey, it's, hey, it still don't car. hit, doesn't hit the ground still. No, oh, dude, it's sitting on two jack stands and a jack, you pussy. Stop being a Driver vagina. Huh? Driver side first. All right. All right, now that one came off. Okay, I just wanted to make sure you're aware. All right, I'm, I'm ready for the other one. I'm ready. It's not off yet. You gotta keep going. You got, Stupid. Hey, you gotta keep going if you want it to come off. Keep going. It, it's still off. Okay, it's off. It's off. Hey, it's off. Are you putting the plate on now? Yeah, I'm putting the plate on. Put, plate is going on. No, it, it doesn't fit. Dude, why, why are you such a hack? What the fuck is wrong with this thing? This thing is lopsided as shit. All right. Ah. Oh. Can't do this one-handed, bro. Jesus. All right, I'll be back, guys. I love giving this feller a hard time. It's a good old, just a good old hard time. You know what I'm saying? Dang old feller. Bro, my eyes are about to. Dude, see. I need, I need an artist. Hear me out. Like I, I know one. Wonder Boy Cheech. Actually, I should send him a, an, a message on Instagram. Yeah. Because I, I bet, I bet you he would kill it, bro. He would. He would kill it. Because, I don't know, Wonder Boy Cheech, if you guys don't know, uh, follow him on Instagram, you should. Dude's a dope ass artist. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty, I'm 100% certain that he was a graffiti artist at one time. Anyhow, I want a design made up. Um, you guys know Beavis and Butthead, right? I want a, uh, I want a design made up to make a t-shirt. I want it to be Bravest and Rughead. How dope would that be? <laughs> Anyhow, we got this, this plate bolted on. Uh, Braven's drilling the other two holes from the bottom. Go for it. Where's your hand at? I'm, I'm clear, dude. Okay. Thank you for insulting my intelligence, though. Freaking moron. <laughs> Anyhow, we got the uh, this plate bolted up. Uh, he's drilling the front holes. So basically, uh, he just wanted to get this down around the uh, around the shifter. And then this large area right here, this is like a, a blank canvas, you can call it. So this is going to be where, obviously, we're going to be mounting his hydraulic handbrake. But now, since this area is just so big and like, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> so since we left all this like that so that we can basically, now he can sit in here and figure out exactly where he wants it. You know what I'm saying? So once we figure it out where he wants it at, and then like, let's say it's right there. Then we'll just come in here with a marker and we'll trace out around it and then mark the holes and then take the thing back off and then we can cut all the extra off. You know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> you want it as close in as possible so that that thing is gonna be sturdy. As sturdy as possible. That's gonna be a problem, bro. That's fifth? Yeah, bro, I'm be banging all my gears, not just... <laughs> <laughs> well, you gotta angle it. You want it up further. <sighs> so, if I'm preloading over here in, in reverse, right? They're gonna hit. <laughs> just thinking about the future, you know? Who knows we do reverse racing in the movie? <laughs> Uh, I mean, that seems good to me. I think it should be right about there, as far forward as you can. Yeah, because if I bang my, my fifth gear... Like, you can it. still angle it a little bit out like this. That seems pretty good. I'll never get it that far back. Yeah, it's not... Besides, whenever you're holding that, it's going to be in first gear. It's the only time you're ever going to be using this. So, that seems pretty good right there to me, boy. It's dead. Huh? It's dead. <laughs> yeah, lift it up. Like, oh my God, come on, dude. Come on, what are you doing? Dude, you insisted on cutting this thing in the car. It's easiest. Yeah, yeah, that's it. You gotta pop a willy, bro. You wanna switch or what? You wanna switch? Oh my, dude, you're gonna destroy the blade. Wanna switch? Here, let me do it. 
Let me handle it. Yeah. Let me take care of it. Do it, Daddy. <laughs> I watching your videos one day and just be like so insulting. <laughs> I always cut the things out. No. Seriously, put it in the comments down below if you heard me say. <laughs> <laughs> Says it. Oh. It's so sweaty, dude. And that was that was prior sweat. Like that was before I even put the glasses on. It gets hot in here, bro. My air conditioning's out right now. Oh my god. Oh my. Hey, you want to switch spots? <laughs> you wanted it. You wanted it, my friend! You freaking got it, my friend! You got scratches all over the inside of your chassis. Bro, you just threw it on the freaking... Bro, I've been so careful just so I don't scratch it. You're really trying to not scratch the floor of your car? Yes. This is a race car. What the fuck you think it's for? <laughs> <laughs> Keep all that in, I dare you. <laughs> Demonetize. Channel strike number five. <laughs> channel strike? I don't have zero channel strikes. <laughs> Bro, that thing... It was about to come off. <laughs> <laughs> it's just sitting there. Every time we're cutting or drilling or doing... Oh, I had the car completely jacked up. And then I slammed it down. Dude, Dude this whole time, the trunk is just sitting on there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Freaking sack of shit. Now you see why we don't have drill bits. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't even know I was coming up behind him with the camera like that. <laughs> Are you done yet? Hurry up. It's your bedtime. Dude, that vacuum stinks. It does. Dude, that thing smells horrible, bro. So bad, bro. Oh, you know what that's from? It, it's full of water right now. Ugh. I literally just like deep clean the hell out of the Suburban, right? Like pressure, like I degreased. I hit with the super clean all the seats and pressure washed them. And then like I pressure washed the carpet, but like with it in the car. But not, not like crazy, not like crazy. But um, then I went back with the shop vac and I sucked all the water out of the carpet and suctioned everything. And yeah, it's still full of that. The this, this Suburban was really bad, bro. It was really bad. <laughs> but yeah, that is a smell. It smells yeah. like your room, bro. My room's not fishy. What Dude, you your room reeks. Your room yeah. smells like Dude, feet, it? dog. Feet? Yeah, like I, feet. I really take my feet off before I go in there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how's it feel? Nice. Drift ready, you heard me. Nice. Let's, let's test it out. <laughs> <laughs> this thing needs to be cleaned up, obviously. But it's mounted on the car. Uh, we got it all mounted in. Wanted to get it all fitted, make sure it's gonna work. But of course, but of course, that is got to be taken out to get painted. Um, we're also gonna be painting that seat bracket. But then on top of that, the dash also. Jesus, is this not bolted in? Nah. Oh, okay. <laughs> but on top of that, the dash needs to be painted. Um, and then his little wiring board down there, like yeah. all that stuff's got to be, <laughs> dude, I really do that too. Everything in reference to Braven, I say little. So anyhow, yeah, his, his little wiring board down here. Bro, that is a, dude, that is a masterpiece, bro. Yeah. What are you talking about, bro? No, I mean, it's cool that you're proud of it. It's cool. It's your first one. You, you did a, you did a good job. Okay, job. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. No, it's okay. It's, it's not. Right. You did an alright job, bro. It's who okay. do you know that has completely rewired their entire car by themselves at 16? I'm waiting. Um, my buddy named Tommy, and then there's this uh, Richard guy. Uh, me, you I, I did. Don't even know a guy named Richard. I know a guy <laughs> named Richard. Okay, I know a guy named Richard. <laughs> 
Anyhow, this this all needs to be taken apart because that's getting painted black. This is getting painted. I, dude, it drives me nuts that that thing's freaking moving, bro. I gotta I gotta bend that and then screw it into the. Yeah, yeah, it's gotta be bolted up. Okay, and then the, this plate is gonna get painted. That seat bracket is gonna get painted. Um, we're also probably gonna be painting the seat itself. Oh. <laughs> His my quick release. His Galaxy steering wheel. Oh my god. That steering wheel drives him nuts, bro. He Dude, hates I, it. If I mean, you guys didn't know, that steering wheel was actually in the Accord when he got it. Yep. So. Oh my god, it's the only thing I have left because I already spent all the money for it. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Uh, Video, yeah. All this stuff's got to be torn out and painted. So that's the reason why that thing looks like shit. Well, not only p because it, it's got to be torn out and cleaned up, but also because Braven made it. You know. Bro, it's an just, ongoing, just it's an look, ongoing theme look, in here. Just look, just it's an look. ongoong theme in here. Oh, just look, that just okay, look. look at this jagged ass line right here. Look, it goes down and then up and then down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Cause you didn't even sand it straight. I was trying to save sandpaper. <laughs> <laughs> that side's not even as bad as this side. Nah, but you see how my bank house is up. <laughs> I was trying to save rivets. You couldn't you couldn't put the rivets straight? Nah. The rivets gonna be straight? <laughs> Just busting your balls, bro. It looks good. No, it yeah, it does. Especially once it's all painted black. Can you, yeah, it's gonna look dope as hell. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. <laughs> I'm trying to get out with the seat all the way reclined forward and it's impossible. Jesus Christ. Yeah, you know, that, that's pretty much it for today's video, man. Uh, got Braven's turbo bolted up. He got his new gaskets on there. Uh, we do need to go and get the piping redone. I'm pretty sure he's explained that. Pretty sure he explained that to you. Yeah. Um, got his seat mounted. Uh, got the hydraulic handbrake mounted. Yeah, made some progress, bro. Anyhow, it's now like 10 o'clock at night. It's like 11 now. Is it 11? Take your phone. No, it's, it's like not. 12. It's 10, bro. It's 10.34. So I... It's 10.34. But yeah, we, we gotta clean up. This dude's got school in the morning. Dang old brave and back to school. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please smash the like button. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Later there, Rughead. <laughs> I almost got away from your ass like your mom did. Nah!